Hello and welcome back to Focus Atlanta. Thanks so much for continuing to watch. In this segment, we're going to talk a little bit about our age. I'm here with Dr. Francis Palmer, and he's going to tell us a little bit about how our age, our biological age, doesn't necessarily have to be what we feel like and what we look like. Dr. Palmer, thank you so much for coming on the show. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Well, this is interesting because we all feel like um, the aging process is just, you know, it is what it is. We're doomed. There's <laughs> nothing that we could do. <laughs> but you're here to say we can act or we could feel younger than our biological age. Yeah, so I think the message here is one of empowerment. So we do have the ability to do things. And I think uh, we, we all know this because, you know, we hear these sayings that 60s is the new 40, 40 is the new 20. That's wonderful, but what the heck does it mean? So what are the things that may be able to impact the biological age? Like you said, genetics is the primary one, and that's sort of the roadmap that says, you know, this is, this is what's going on, this is how you're going to age, this is your longevity, this is your health state. And if that was truly all there was, like you said, then that would be that. You and I wouldn't be having this conversation, but that isn't a fact. There's biological and environmental factors that also impact your biological age. And biological factors would be things like, do you have acute or chronic disease? Or something as simple as, do you have enough of the nutrients that are necessary for some of these key biological factors? And one of those is uh, this calcium AKG rejuvenant that I wanna mention towards the end. And then the last one is one we all know, it's called lifestyle choices, right? And that's a fancy word for are you active or do you have a sedentary lifestyle? Do you eat well or do you have a poor diet? Are you exposing yourself to known carcinogens like smoking and excess sun exposure or are you not? And there's on and on and on. And so I think these are the two, these final two are obviously the ones that today we are able to make some impact upon. And so obviously we want lifestyle choices and we all know what those are. We just can't always do them. And it's one of these is a story that's really not new. And it says, if you walk every day, it's gonna improve your health and therefore your biological age. No kidding. We all know that. And so the, the one thing that I didn't like is I don't like the word brisk because it makes it sense that we have to do power walking and we don't. It's it's. I always tell people if you want to if you want to do nothing else, then just open the front door, or go to the mall, or you can even do it walking in place, watching TV. Uh, if you do that for thirty minutes, three to five times a week, you are definitely improving all of the things that you want. You're improving your overall health. You're improving your mental state. You're decreasing stress. All of those things will have a positive impact on your on your biological age. Dr. Palmer, that is what we want to hear. We want to hear that there are little steps that we could take. There are things, that, everyday things that we could do to improve our health. Um, we right. don't hear and that all the time. We always hear that it's, you know, it's got to be something I know. big and well, huge. I, I know, but the reality is that every journey, whether it's a big or small journey, if a journey to improve your biological health or you're going around the world, it starts with one simple step forward. As long as you're making steps forward, and I think it's a, it's a, it's, it's a way to think about this is, is, you know, if you have choices, think positively because thinking negatively is not gonna help you. If you have the ability to do some of these small steps, the culmination of the effects of those all together, like just, okay, so if you struggle because you, you, you know you should eat a certain way, but you can't, just pick one day to do it. Pick one day a week and say, okay, I'm just gonna do one day a week, this is what I'm gonna do. I know it's the right thing to do. And the same thing with exercise, okay, oh, it just sounds like too much work or it's cold outside or blah, 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 all the, ex all the excuses we come up with. Find a way to do it at least once a week and try twice a week. And you'll see as we spiral upward and all these things impact us, everything will improve. If you could do multiple things that all improve your biological age and put you in more optimal state of health, of course you're gonna do it. 
but here's things that people that that they you know they wake up and they just say uh, you know i'm so tired i'm overwhelmed i have no idea what to do there's ten thousand experts telling me all these things here's something very simple just follow common sense you can you know go go to rejuvent.com look at it see if it's right for you talk to your physician uh, try the supplement and then try some of these lifestyle changes. Honestly, what do you have to lose? Dr. Palmer, thank you so much for coming on the show. That is such phenomenal information. And again, it's little things that each of us could do. It was a pleasure to meet you. You too. Thank you so much. Absolutely. All right, guys, you have all the information that you need. Rejuvent.com. Take the opportunity to go to the website, learn a little bit more, learn a little bit more about what's your number, the book, and stay tuned for more Focused Atlanta here on Atlantis CW.